How can human capital be marshaled to support sustainability? In the heart of all sustainability agendas, you would find that human or people actually are the elements that actually execute or the elements that actually that delivers forward. So it's about a cultural shift and paradigm where we actually enhance further the understanding, the knowledge, and also the appreciation of what does it take to get into a sustainable future and sustainable economy as well. Uh, on the other hand, as well, if you find, if you actually check the find all the uh, financial institutes, would be the uh, fuel that actually generates economy and and really uh, that actually pushes forward either sustainable agenda or actually to the conventional older you can call it approaches. Now, um, on the people element, the culture. If we to shift forward. It's not only understanding the products. It's not only understanding actually that uh, what customers actually would desire or how international markets would actually appreciate um, calling uh, the oil and gas predominant um, economies. But uh, it's actually more on understanding what's the impact of one individual, a single individual forward and how they can provide even better, I would say, approach towards better sustainability and future forward. It's not only for them, it's also for their generations to come. Uh, one of the actually, one of which is also, um, I would say, the human capital approach is to respect and deliver products that actually comes forward uh, better to the clients as well. So a um, simple example of really uh, paying people on time and paying, paying them wages wages and protected systems that assures them of their salaries and wages that comes into 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 a full you can call it execution. Uh, in Qatar, we actually apply uh, we apply uh, what what they what they call is WPS system, which actually governs you can call it over overall wages and execution. But moreover, actually, we also apply it for various you can call it uh, professions that includes household workers, and we do have actually system in the bank that complements the insurances of those payments. Uh, so it's really about being responsible approach of being actually acknowledging that individuals are the key element to execute and ensure applications to the sustainable uh, sustainable agenda comes forward into a full picture. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anybody else on, on, on how uh, uh, to further sustainability by bringing more people into it, more people in an aggressive way into it? Um, Please, Nadia. Yes, uh, I think further to Justin's comment, uh, targeting and focusing on the human element uh, is very important. Uh, and to this effect, uh, we uh, became co-founders under the UNFFI, uh, uh, Principles for Responsible Banking, uh, the financial inclusion and uh, the social component, uh, which is a new, which is parallel for the climate action. Uh, working group and um, it's very important to make sure now it's very um, trendy to focus on carbon emissions and climate but still I mean it's all about the social dimension and that's why climate justice involves the social dimension so it's intrinsic um, it's, a, it's a very good point that banks should focus on uh, it's not the E or the S or more tilted to the E and S it's the integration, it's the integrated strategy to make sure that whatever we do as banks uh, has a good impact on the human element or biodiversity, not only human. We're talking about our ecology that we are responsible for. And our funding operations have immense, uh, and this will bring also to, to discussion, the biodiversity. So by social, it's not just humans, it's the whole ecology. Thank you. Okay, anyone else on this question? Yeah, Joe, and if I can just uh, follow up on that. So I think it's extremely important to remember that sustainability is about changing a culture. In order to succeed, you need to create a culture where everybody thinks and understands sustainability and the importance of sustainability. So from that perspective, it's extremely important to also raise awareness. It's extremely important to ensure that learning about sustainability, what does it mean? in order to create ambassadors around the organization. 
you want everybody in your organization to become an ambassador for sustainability. It should not be something that you only do at work and then you go home or in your private life and sustainability doesn't matter. Sustainability is something that needs to become part of our lives in order to be successful. And that's why it's extremely important that we as uh, organizations can support all our stakeholders, whether they're internal, our colleagues or our clients or our other partners about how sustainability becomes important. And that's where the uh, awareness uh, is extremely important that we raise that. It's also extremely important that we um, support and creating that culture coming from your strategy part. You have a strategy, which is fine. It's well-defined, it's on the paper, but you need to create that culture where everybody understands it, they buys in, and from a day-to-day -day perspective, they, they actually try to live sustainability. Are we there yet? No, not. I think we have, we have some way to go. And it, this is not only in this region. I also think this is internationally. But we are moving very fast on this. And I think that is extremely important that we keep continuing taking big steps into that direction. Mm -hmm.